Where are we going? Well, I knew me and you wouldn't have out to do today. Spending a day with my family. I thought you might be with your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend anymore. It's over? Yeah. Well, wasn't going anywhere, not really. You seemed happy enough. Well, I'm impressed. You are the impulsive type, aren't you? Something like that, yeah. Come on. Well, where are we going, then? Pub. Pub's shut. Not if you're a senior sisters in it, isn't it? Well, I'm not. No, but the people that are there will be, so we're going to help out. Help out? Yes, it's a good deed. I know you rich people don't know much about that, but that's what you're supposed to do at this time of the year. Fine. But does Alan Turner really need our help? You're joking, aren't you? Fifty pensioners squabbling over Turkey. You'll need United Nations peacekeeping force, never mind those. Hi, Alan. Into the hotel. Oh, everything's going smoothly, Hello. thank you. Merry Christmas. Is it something I said? What's going on? I haven't even served the pudding yet. Can you put mine in there, Mr. Turner? I'll pick it up later. Well, full up, are we? Yeah. No, only if I don't get a move, I'm going to be late for any just for what Christmas dinner. Are you going to the malt <laughs> shop? All right, I don't want to be left here, do I? Mercenaries! <laughs> Thanks for inviting me over today. Always a pleasure, you know that. Merry Christmas, Chris. I enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. I'll see you out. Thanks. Zoe. Thank you. Christopher no. and Kathy. Oh. Table left. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Couldn't you wait till Neil was even off the property? Well, come on, where's mine? You don't think I'd leave it where you'd go looking, do you? Go on. Open it. I can believe my luck. Mm -hmm. Passing this antique shop, and there they were. <laughs> I never know what to buy him. <laughs> These were the answer to my prayer. Dad's been trying to find out in his usual subtle way if I'm interested in Neil. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to tell him, but if a man gets to Neil's age without being married, he might not be interested in me or in any other woman. Oh, I think Neil has an eye for the ladies. Don't you, Kim? I hadn't given it much thought. Unlike my Christmas present. Oh, that was luck. Pure luck. Like I said, I wouldn't have known what to buy you. I'd have quite liked to watch. Well, then, um, next birthday. Only it won't be a surprise. No. Not as much as a surprise as Neil's was. Was it? I, I didn't hear him say. Oh, come on. Surely such a well-bred chap like him said thank you. Dad? Well, did he? Uh, Frank, I don't know what you're talking about. You made one little mistake. You hid my present from me, but you didn't hide Neil's. At least, not well enough. Come on, it's Christmas. You're making a mountain out of a molehill, Frank. You buy an extravagant watch for your boyfriend, and you tell me that I am making a mountain out of a molehill? Frank, it's not like that. Next you'll be telling me it was just a simple gift for a friend. It was. Too expensive, love. Dad, keep out of it. Frank. Frank, please, we can talk about talk? it. Talk? It's a bit bloody late to talk. I bet you and the Honourable Neil King K didn't spend a lot of time talking. I want you out of my house now. Frank, please, we can sort this out. I said now. Dad, please. Quiet. You can't do this, Frank. Can't I? You just watch me. 